Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio, so today we need to take a little bit of a look at all of the secret rares from Triple Beat. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have, the set is now out over in Japan, so I told you on Thursday I would have all of the secret rares, because as soon as the set comes out, there are shops over in Japan that will give us scans that they have done of these cards. So now we can look at every single secret rare from Triple B. And I'm just going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. i got a box of these on the way. And that just makes me very happy indeed. A box of Triple B, not a box of secret rares. That would be cool. But that would also be a little bit weird. So, starting off then, let's start off with the artwork rares and special art rares, because they are, of course, the, the real selling point for a lot of people. And we start off with Atropius. Yeah, that's right. There's Atropius. It's cool. This is one of the ones we saw the other day, of course. This was revealed in a YouTube video, the opening that the people did over on the official YouTube channel. And it's a cool card. Jerky's done a good job here. I like this card. This one makes me pretty gosh darned happy. So yeah, this is nice. We've then got ourselves the entire Sprigatito line. We got ourselves Sprigatito, we've got ourselves Florigato, and we've got ourselves Meowscarada. And this is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely awesome. And I have to show you these side by side. I have to. Because showing them to you side by side is the only way where we can really sit here and appreciate the story being told between these three cards. It's just absolutely wonderful. And I love it. And I cannot say enough wonderful things about how Pokemon are doing this at the moment. Obviously, you know, we talked about this the other day. But we've got the story being told here. You know, we've got the Sprigatito kind of sitting, chilling in a garden. You know, sleeping in a flower pot, looking all cute and happy. We've then got Florigato, grows up, sitting in a tree, but still very much in the back garden. The house is right there. We're sitting in the tree. We're not too high. We're still kind of safe. We're still growing up. And then we've got the Meowscarada, who is kind of standing in the tree, much higher up. And we're not looking at the back of the house where it's safe and close to home anymore. We're looking out over the village and over the bay. And it's just absolutely wonderful. And what Pokemon have done here, they put Kuki Saito here doing the whole line. So it really does tell that story as you go up through. And it is absolutely beyond wonderful. But to look at Meowscarada for a second here, this is actually a really, really good card. It's probably the best card in the set. What we've got here is an ability that lets you discard a grass energy from your hand and then drop three damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I love that we're dropping three damage counters. I'm not such a fan of only dropping it on the bench. This is clearly the new version of Decidueye GX, but that was two damage counters on the active. I love it's gone up to three. I don't love that it's bench only. Moving on with artwork res, we've got ourselves a Pyro. Yay! It, it's Pyro chilling in a tree. Well, it's actually male Pyro sitting in a tree. There's a couple of female Pyro and a couple of Litleos just kind of chilling down in the valley below. And that, that's actually kind of adorable, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. That is honestly kind of adorable. Although it is worth noting, Pyro's not a card we've actually talked about from this set yet. So, just nice and quickly here, single energy burn, two energy, 60 damage, 20 to one of your opponent's bench. Yeah, it's not particularly good, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. There's a reason we hadn't talked about it previously, but just for completeness sake, I thought we should mention it. We've then got the Skeleturge line. Now, this for me, this is what I want. This is what I want to pull. We've now seen all the secret rares from the set. Which means I can sit here and tell you with a high degree of certainty what it is I'm looking for. This. I want the Skeledurge line. The Fewer Coco is just absolutely adorable. And again, we've got the whole line here. So we've got the Fewer Coco just kind of sitting there, chewing on an apple, being good, sitting in the backpack in the supermarket. That's lovely. The Crocolore then comes along, filling up the backpack with fruit and veg. But very clearly being... um. Not as well behaved as it could be. 
And then we've got the Skeleturge, who's not actually burning down the supermarket or anything silly like that. What we've got here is just sitting nicely next or walking nicely next to its master and just kind of chilling on the way home from shopping. It's grown up and calmed down, and that's actually kind of adorable. So yay! We then got ourselves a magic up. And this is one of the cards which, at least initially, people are getting very excited about from this particular set. This is one of the ones from Triple Beat that people are going a little bit crazy for because it's a Shinji Kanda artwork. And it is a stunning card. For my money, it's the best card Shinji Kanda's actually done. I know there are a lot of people out there that are huge fans of Kanda's work. I personally actually love the main set magic up. It's Igon Asuke and it's beautiful. And it's not a good card. No, no one's saying it's a good card in terms of playability. But the artwork here is stunning. And when I get my box, now it turns out there are 12 artwork rares, not special arts, regular artwork rares, in the set, as we expected. And I really want to pull Magic Art from my box. Not because it's my favourite or anything like that, because it's blatantly going to be the most expensive. And I don't want to have to go and spend like 10, 15 quid on this card when all the others are going to be a couple of quid. Now, we do also have the Quark Without line coming in here. And this, for me, is my is my least favourite of them, I'll be honest with you. When it comes to the storytelling, the first part of Pokemon, it, it's just chilling in front of a mirror. And I do like the fact that it clearly gets older. You know, your Quaxly, everything's kind of strewn around. You're, and you know, you're just kind of playing in the sink. It looks a lot like my three-year-old son playing in the sink, frankly. We've then got the Quaxwell, who's starting to really care about his hair and, you know, put a bit more care into it. But you've got the open cupboard at the back and it's still a bit messy. And then you've got the Quaxwell at the end, who's just kind of standing up, looking very regal, well presented. Everything's a little bit neater. I appreciate the storytelling aspect of showing how it's getting older, but it's not my favourite of them. I think that's fair to say. And then finishing off with the other artwork rares, we've got ourselves a Miss Magius. This is one I showed you previously, but that doesn't mean it's not an absolutely stunning card. This one is frankly beautiful. I like this one. We've got ourselves a Paldean Tauros. Again, I showed you this previously. And this is really cool, but I've got to point this out. It looks very Lion King. The, the bad bit of Lion King. It looks like that. And let's put the Pyroar up again just for a moment. Because, um, yeah. Th this has to be a Lion King reference, surely. Like, these two cards together have to be a Lion King reference. They have to be. And then we've got Peldae and Wooper, which actually makes me a little bit sad because I really want Peldae and Clodzire to get a special art rare. It's not the three first partner Pokemon are, which makes me a little bit sad. I wanted my Clodzire. Now, moving on to the EXs here, we've got ourselves, well, we got a bunch of full arts. But the first partner Pokemon, I mean, if we take Meow Scarada, you've got the regular, you've got the full art. And then you've got the gold version. All of the first partner Pokemon are getting gold versions in this set, which is what we don't normally see. But they are all getting them, and that's kind of a big deal. Bearing in mind, Scarlet EX and Violet EX had one gold EX each. This mini set alone has got three. We've then got the special art rare as well. So there's actually four different versions of Meow Scarada. This is kind of good. Now, Skeleturge, you've got the regular, you've got the full art, and then you've got the gold version, as you might expect. But then you've got the special art rare that I showed you before as well. So again, four different versions of Skeleturge, although the special art rare, clearly the best. And then we've got Quarkwavar with the normal, the full art, and the gold version. And you'll notice, of course, that the full art and gold are the same, but, you know, just golded up, or not, as the case may be. And then, of course, you've got the special art rare that I showed you earlier. Which is awkward. The way my videos are set up, I can show you three different artworks nice and clearly at a time. Having four different prints of the same card, for me on a personal level, kind of annoying. Now, in terms of the other EXs, they all just get a full art. So we got ourselves the Terra de Dene EX, which gets itself a full art, which looks very different to the other full arts. But these Terra Pokemon tend to. We've got ourselves a Lycanroc EX. Which, again, has got a lovely full art version of it, which is fine. 
And then my boy, Claude Zaya, who's got a lovely full art as well. It's not a special art rare, but the good news is, as much as I like Claude Zaya as a Pokemon, the ability lets you poison if there's a stadium in play and the attack does 200 damage, but it's only for free energy and we've got ways to accelerate, so that's fine. I don't think it's going to be great, but I'm going to play with it. And the thing is, if, if the card's not great, that means I can go and get this super cheap. I'm going to be picking up at least one of these full arts. The special art rare line of Skeletor is what I'm really looking for here. But I'm going to pick up a Clodsire because the Clodsire is adorable. Now, moving over into supporter cards. I do want to point out before we get supporters, actually. These three gold cards are the only ones. Usually, we get ourselves some gold item cards, etc., but no, ladies and gentlemen, here, because we got the three gold EXs, they're the only gold cards in the set. So then moving on to supporter cards, we've got ourselves Dendra, who does get both a full art and a special art rare. Now, I did actually show you these ones previously, so we've had kind of nice looks at Dendra for a little while now, which is kind of lovely. Always nice to have those cards a little bit in advance. It's nice to kind of chill and see them. That's all good. Uh, Dendra as a card, I should point out, is all right. Put a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck, draw until you've got five cards in hand. Decent card, might see a bit of play. We've then got ourselves Clavel. Now, Clavel just gets a full art, no special art rare here. And Clavel is another decent card. You get to search your deck for three basic Pokemon, each of which has 120 HP or less. And whack them into your hand. You can see a bunch of decks using this. We've got Faulkner, who again, unfortunately, just gets a full art, no special art rare. And with the whole bird Pokemon gym leader, there could have been a great special art rare here. Hey ho, this is a draw two cards. If it's a stadium in play, draw two more. Although to confirm, it has to be your stadium. It does say on the card very specifically, your stadium, not a stadium, just to be clear. And then we finish off with Boss's Orders gets here. So this Boss's Orders, we know what Boss's Orders does. But we've got ourselves both a full art and a special art rare. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I actually prefer the full art here. I'll be honest with you. The special art rare is one where he's kind of moving chess pieces around the map. And the full art is one where he's trying to reach out on a card to grab you. It's not as obvious, I think, as some of them. Well, I suppose you could tell it. But the point is, I prefer the full art. That's what I'm trying to get at here, ladies and gentlemen. I prefer the full art. So yeah, 30 secret rares in the set. There's a lot of them, but they are good. There's no huge chase card for me in this set like there are in some. I really like the artwork on the special art rare Dendra, but it's not exactly a card I absolutely have to have. For me, it is the Skeledurge line, the Fewer Coco especially. And I'll be picking up the Clodsire full arcs. I love me some Clodsire. But these aren't, you know, real huge chase cards like that. There's nothing in this set which really tickles me outside of the Fewer Coco. And that's going to be super cheap. And that makes me happy. Because look how adorable he is. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've made my point. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of these. Tell me which of these you like. Tell me what your chase card for the set is. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games. All kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Where you can support the channel. Get some bonus podcasts. Join a Discord and chat Pokemon or anything else. And get shout outs on the channel. Like the lovely Uber MX, who's been a supporter of ours for a long time now and is a very lovely person. So thank you very much for the support and for being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.